Hey guys, so here's the video about what business I'd start in 2024 and specifically it would be an agency business um, but it wouldn't be a traditional content or SEO agency or even video or design or anything like that it would be something a little bit different it would be and excuse me for holding my microphone like this I've lost the stand um, so here we are just gonna have to roll with it um, it would be a personal brand agency specifically personal brand as a service now this is nothing new there's been ghostwriting agencies or agencies that, that specialize in in being your uh, you know being your voice and, and writing your content on your behalf but I want to do things a little bit differently and talk about you know the positioning and the reason why I would, I would go into the personal brand agency space I think going into 2024 it personal brands are becoming more and more important especially in b2b um, if you look at any b2b social profile it's just crickets there's no engagement there's nothing um, and I think founders and CEOs of b2b companies are, are beginning to realize they need to start being active on social media whether it's LinkedIn or Twitter or even TikTok and Instagram um, there's there's definitely an opportunity to you know serve these people because there's a lot of founders and CEOs out there who they may not have the right vibe for social they may not know what to say they may be too busy they may be quiet they may not know how to express themselves properly um, so this is where they just want a solution where like everything else in life entrepreneurs they just you know if you can get your meal prep done by someone or your house cleaning done you just get it done you know you'll pay someone to do it take it off your hands so this is no different and here's how I would do it so personal brand agency I would start with a productized offer so what is a productized offer a productized offer is a offer that's highly defined um, and it's it's got an end date and it's a one-off price and it gives you a deliverable so in terms of personal brand here's, here's how I'd do it I would conduct a one to two hour interview with the founder, CEO, spokesperson. I would make it like a podcast and I'll come up with an interesting set of questions that will really bring out some interesting answers such as the past of the founder, how they come up with the idea for the business, failures or successes, their dreams, what they hope to do with the business, what's going on in the business, hires, um, new products, new services. Um, what's their favorite food what's their workout plan what's their morning routine you can go deep and you could go sideways into this because people want to know about the person you know what's their favorite hobby what interesting stories from the past you know all these kind of things can be very very interesting for a personal brand they don't have to keep talking about business or their company or whatever you can make it interesting and i think it's all about the interview you got to get this bit right because once you've done this podcast this video interview you can then get a VA to create 30 to 60 shorts. That same VA or a different VA can then create content, which are like posts, LinkedIn posts or Twitter posts, whatever it might be from those from the transcript. And you can use AI to, to help, you know, pull out the best bits. But I think that's a very simple, easy model for the, for the first productized bit. The reason I'd go productized, I mean, this is an old image that I used for um, to explain how SEO agencies should should try and get retainers but instead of going straight for the retainer which is hard especially in a personal brand agency business because a personal brand is so it, it is personal and it's like what are you going to do are you going to log into my profiles it, it's a bit ambiguous so a product always offer gives it this kind of like defined product you're just going to get this no need to panic you don't have to post anything that we do we're going to deliver it in a google sheet um and the Google Sheet's really cool because you just list all the bits of content they've done with links to the, the videos or the text in a, in a Google Doc or whatever. And they can just post it if they want to at their own whim. Um, you can give them, you know, two to three months worth of content from one video interview. I think that would be the cadence. Um, you could sell this for, for $1,000 to, to $5,000, pounds, whatever, whatever you want to do. But I think you could sell this fairly high ticket and... You know, you can push towards 5K once you've got some uh, testimonials or case studies, that kind of thing. But 
this in itself, without any retainer element to the agency, would be a great business. You know, it would be a great five five k a month business. You could get five clients easy on this on this model every month. But where the magic comes, I think, is retainer. So you could、um, set your retainer starting from two and a half thousand, going up to five thousand, and you know the retainers could include. More content types, you know, you could you could have add-ons which are like newsletters or blog posts, or you could do、uh, comments and that kind of thing. It could just be a bit more personalised. You can log into their scheduling system and schedule it all up for the month and make it really automated and really nice and high margin for you.、Um, also, there's a there's an opportunity to cross promote once you've got a few clients if they agree, you know. But you could cross promote big accounts that you have control of. And and really speed things up for everyone. You know, it's a win-win-win situation there.、Um, so yeah, how I, how I do it? I've gone over it. I'll, I'll just use a simple website. Card is good. C A R R D.、Um, you you don't even have to use that. You could just use S P P、uh, Service Provider Pro, which is great for productized services. It takes all the payments and all that kind of thing. You can deliver all the files within there.、Um, you don't need anything to Too advanced or too special for this? I'd be using Twitter or LinkedIn to to cold message founders who look like they're having trouble expressing themselves online, or maybe they're not expressing themselves at all. Founders that have already got a lot of followers, but they're not doing anything with them. There you go. That's the that's the gold to go after.、Um, with the actually doing this, you know, the interview I think and the questions should come up should be made by you. And you should do the interview too. It's the highest leverage point. You've got to get that bit right. You could outsource it at some point, but I think you've got to do it a few times to know what's what kind of questions work well, what kind of questions don't work well.、Um, you could even, I mean, the the interview could be done asynchronously. So if you wanted to, you could use a, a tool like、uh, Video Ask.、Um, it, it's from the guys at Typeform, and basically you could create your own.、Um, Set of questions that they just answer via their webcam, and you can use that video footage then to create the shorts.、Um, then, yeah, when it comes to the short creation, I'd use a VA,、um, and especially the content use a VA.、Um, and there's some AI tools out there. Even ChatGPT out the box is going to help you get the transcript, pull out the most interesting parts. It should be a nice, nice process to, to set up.、Um, I wanted to go through some. Some agencies that are all, almost doing this this kind of model. I didn't know about these until yesterday. I'd sent an email about this idea、um, to my mailing list,、um, and yeah, I got a few replies. And one of them was just talking about how there's a few agencies doing this.、Uh, one of them was Story Arb, which is a really cool website, really cool offering. Go and check them out. They've got a really cool、um, retainer. Model, it's just seven k per month and seven seven month minimum. They've even got a waiting list.、Um, the founder is actually posting about this online, you know, as a like a building public thing. I don't know what the name is again, but if you just search Story Arb on Google or or Twitter, you'll you'll see it. It's sharing the revenue, and the revenue is set to do eight hundred k a year, and they've not been going that long.、Um, another one is Foundry. This is one of Alex Wilkinson's companies.、Um, again. Very nice and a very nice、uh, pricing. This was kind of what I would, I imagined would be a nice price for a retainer. These obviously go way higher as well,、uh, up to a ten k a month one. I'm not sure of, of the details. It doesn't look as if there's anything. There's not. There's not much between them. It's just low, medium, high volume content. What does that mean? Don't know.、Um, and then there's another one called Banff with some some interesting. You know,、uh, high status influencers in the hero shot.、Uh, are they saying they they do the content for these guys? Don't know, but、um, interesting model. It looks like they they've got some kind of course.、Um, maybe they do a retainer as well. But worth looking at these three companies: Banff or B A M F, however you spell it or say it,、uh, Foundry, Story, Arb. So go and look at those.、Um, And then, yeah, just to just to summarise. Before I summarise, actually, I want to go into this little thing here. You can actually 
go deeper after retainers and after you've got some high level influencers you can actually offer something like a course creation service so once you've got a big audience it would make sense to offer some kind of like paid paid course or paid membership so you could set all this up for them and you could run the membership for them this could be a service you could offer you know off the box as a retainer or even even just a one-off cost um I thought that was just interesting just to pop in there because I, I only thought of that today. Um, so yeah, the TLDR of this this ANC and the ANC I'll start in 2024. Personal brand ANC. And I'll sell a one-off productized package. That would be all I'd be selling on the front end of the site. I wouldn't even bother talking about retainers. I'd just be selling one-off package. It's $1,000 and you get your two months or three months worth of content. And it starts with an interview, and then we do the we do the rest. That's it. It's hands off for them. They just get a Google sheet with all the content they can post. Um, and then, yeah, obviously use an interview to get the basic content. Sell retainers on the back end. So the retainers could be very interesting. They could include, you know, uh, newsletters or even blog posts. Um, but every quarter, I think you need to do that interview to to refresh the content. Ask the founder what he's been up to lately. You know, has he been to any nice restaurants? Has anything happened in the business? Has, has he launched any services? Just go weird, go deep, and just get pull out some curious content. This is the content that do, that does well, you know. Get some polarizing opinions, that kind of thing. Those things, in a short, just do great. And obviously, yet yeah, scale with VAs and AI, as I'd expect you you'd be thinking about anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is the business I'll start in twenty twenty four. I am very very tempted to to do this. Don't get me wrong, but. I just, I'm banning myself from starting or doing anything different. I've got my hands full at the minute, but if you are going to do this, um, get in touch, let me know. I'd love to hear your plans and maybe I can help in some way. Um, but yeah, let me know and I um, hope you enjoyed it. Speak to you soon.